This article, also known as the Handbook of Human Oil Cultivation HHH, Growing Up with a Mouthful Can and Flow Big Boss, Harvester Female Lead X Love Brain Cold Face Washing Underwear Big Demon King Male Lead, Mistaken, G Sway was reborn before the destruction of the Demon King. Facing the young version of Yan Qingxu, who had not yet fallen into the demon, Ji Sui was forced to accept the task of preventing the demon king from destroying the world. The way the task is carried out is doing multiple dot choice questions. The strangest thing is, besides C, there's no other choice. Congratulations, the mode of My Life Oil, I Don't Oil Days, has been activated. Selected. Kiss the Demon King forcefully and smile at the Demon King's evil charm, saying, Man, you have successfully caught my attention. G Sway. This is forcing the world, it can't save a little, destroy it. I didn't expect the Demon King to be a romantic brain. I have completed my own strategy among the options that I have reached in order to complete the task time and time again. He loves it so much. As Yan Qingxu's demonization nodes were repeatedly destroyed, Ji Sui gradually realized that not only was Yan Qingxu demonized, but even her accidental death in her previous life seemed to be secretly manipulated by someone novel keyword. Call you the Redeemer Demon King, do you choose C for all of this? No pop-ups, calling you the Redeemer Demon King, are you choosing C for all of this? Download the complete set of TXT and ask you to redeem the Demon King. Do you choose C for all of this? Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 My Life is Oil, I Don't Oil Days You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 1 My Life is Oil, I Don't Oil Days G Sui has been reborn. After witnessing the complete fall of the demon, Yan Qingxu destroyed all the chaotic barriers and turned the world into purgatory. In theory, the filthy beast should not have appeared in the safe zone, but perhaps it was a mistake. Ji Sui was caught by a 6.meter level filthy beast. The roar of the filthy beast still lingered in her ears. She gasped and opened her eyes, only to see the teenage version of Yan Qingxu squatting in front of her, looking at her curiously. This scene was somewhat familiar, and Ji Sui suddenly realized that he had been reborn for the first time in direct contact with Yan Qingxu. The demon king in front of you is the one who will destroy the world. Your task is to stop him from destroying the world. Now, you can choose. A. Strangle him, this is a higher risk. B. Kneel down and beg for mercy, it may backfire. C. Kiss him forcefully and say to him, Man, you have successfully caught my attention. Countdown 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3. What kind of thing? The sudden sound in her mind startled Ji Sui, but as the countdown was about to end, she instinctively chose the longest one without even looking at the options clearly. I choose C. The next second, she involuntarily lifted her hand and pulled Yan Qingxu's head down, kissing her directly. Then the evil spirit smiled and said, Man, you have successfully caught my attention. Yan Qingxu Ji Sui looked at Yan Qingqing's incredulous expression and twitched his lips. Just as he was about to explain, he heard a voice in his mind continuing, Congratulations, you have successfully activated the, My life is oily, I am not oily, mode. Please continue to fight to prevent the demon king from annihilating the world. Ji Sui God's his mother life oil is not mine, or you'd better kill me first, please. She gave a slightly guilty dry cough and said, that. I didn't expect Yan Qingxu to run away without looking back. If I read correctly, my ears seemed a bit red. Ji Sui was confused. The Demon King. How good is this? She thought of the madness of the banquet before rebirth, where the pure void god blocked the killing god Buddha, but hesitated to speak. Getting up from the ground, Ji Sui looked at the surrounding environment and sure enough, it was in the end of month assessment. In my previous life, it was during this exam that I encountered a filthy beast that somehow escaped from the battlefield of nothingness. 
If it weren't for Yan Qingxu waking up Ji Sui who had fainted from the surprise attack, she would have died in the mouth of the filthy beast long ago. But after this exam, Yan Qingxu disappeared. No one knows where he went, and Ji Sui Xiang didn't even have a chance to thank him. When I heard his news again, he was already a fallen demon among the crowd. Since we want to prevent Yan Qingxu from destroying the world, the most important thing is naturally to prevent him from falling into the devil. However, Ji Sui always felt that the decadent demon of Yan Qingxu was likely related to this filthy beast. She ran towards the place where the filthy beast appeared based on her memory. As she ran, she didn't notice that she had an extra pendant around her neck at some point. The golden book, the size of a thumb, is swaying with a dim light. I didn't run far and indeed saw Yan Qingxu fighting against the filthy beasts. Several injured classmates were lying around, trying to contact the teacher with a frightened expression on their faces, and their spirits collapsed to the side. The filthy beast was originally a monster that existed in the void battlefield, with an ugly face and a highly poisonous body. Their strength levels are divided by height, and their favorite ones are fresh flesh and blood, especially those of the awakened. Although this filthy beast is only at the 2.meter level, it is deadly enough for students with little combat experience. Yan Qingxu suffered many injuries on her body, and the blood at the wound had turned dark green. For some reason, he did not summon his own spirit, only relying on his flexible movements to restrain the filthy beast. But what surprised Ji Sui the most was that his pupils slowly dyed ink from their original light gray. Ji Sui's heart skipped a beat, and suddenly came to mind the innocent and demonic appearance of a previous life banquet, as well as those dark eyes that had no human emotions. She pulled out a dagger to help, but the voice in her mind rang out again. This battle is the key to triggering the Demon King's first awakening. Please assist the Demon King in defeating the filthy beast and avoiding demonization. You can choose to. A. Shout at the filthy beast. Charge me. B. Stop in front of Yan Qingxu and cry, don't fight. C. Defeat the filthy beast and coldly say, my people, do you also dare to harm me? Count down to five seconds. Ji Sui. Gritting his teeth and choosing C, Ji Sui turned his head and vented all his anger on the filthy beast in front of him. After fighting with the filthy beast for so many years in his previous life, Ji Sui is already familiar with its weaknesses. Although they are invincible and have infinite strength, their only weakness is in their mouths. There is a quenched spirit bead embedded under the tongue of the filthy beast. Once pulled out, the filthy beast will instantly turn into a puddle of mud. The higher the level of the filthy beast, the more careful the protection of the tongue. It's only at the level of one or two meters, and I would be silly and open my mouth in anger. So, unable to contact the teacher, the students who thought they were going to be eliminated today were stunned as they watched Ji Sui summon her Qi Ling by Zay. One person and one spirit cooperated harmoniously, cutting off the tongue of the filthy beast in an instant. Ji Xiao sprinkled a dagger in front of Yan Qingxu, expressionlessly throwing it and coldly saying to the newly baked mud, My people, do you dare to hurt me too? A girl next to her took a cold breath and said, She's so domineering, I love her so much. Ji Sui. I want to die, really. She frowned and dug out the quenched spirit beads that were only the size of mung beans, washing them clean, and handed them to Yan Qingxu. Quenching spirit beads can not only detoxify the venom inherent in filthy beasts, but also clear the mind and calm the qi. Perhaps they can also have a suppressive effect on demonization. In the unnoticed corner, Bai Zai reached out his paw and pulled at the pool of green mucus. A faint green mist rose up and was completely sucked away by it. It squinted its eyes, looking like it was enjoying it, and then disappeared. Yan Qingxu looked at Ji Sui with a complex expression, but without hesitation, he swallowed the quenching spirit pearl directly. In no time, his blood turned normal bright red, and the wound gradually healed. Congratulations on successfully completing the task. Belief Level Plus One Reward. You make sense, buff. 
lasts for 24 hours. Please continue to work hard. Ji Sui was too lazy to care about these things, so she checked the injured classmates. They are basically trying to avoid being injured by the filthy beast, and only the wounds caused by Yan Qingxiu are directly facing the filthy beast. As soon as the filthy beast died, their communication equipment was also restored, and the teacher was on his way. In her previous life, Ji Sui never faced the filthy beast directly. After being awakened by Yan Qingxiu, she left there. By the time the teachers realized something was wrong and arrived, the exam room had already suffered heavy casualties, while Yan Qingxiu and the filthy beast had disappeared without a trace. This time, the timely removal of the filthy beast did not cause much unrest. Ji Sui just breathed a sigh of relief and saw Yan Qingxiu, who was planning to leave silently. She ran up and grabbed Yan Qingxiu's clothes, saying with a smile, Yan classmate, where are you going? The wound hasn't been treated yet. Yan Qingxiu turned her head inexplicably and was shaken by Ji Sui's brilliant smile. His gaze fell on Ji Sui's rosy lips, but soon he lowered his gaze and said lightly, My injury has healed. After speaking, I want to continue moving forward. Just as Ji Sui was about to say something, he heard a teacher's voice say, Hey, who is that? Where are you going? The voice was filled with anger. Open a new book now stable updates, unique pit products. Completed works can be marked on the homepage girl, can't this attract you? Shaking his head and supporting his forehead with a bitter smile, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 People Who Dare to Move Me You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 People Who Dare to Move Me Ji Sui turned around and watched as a male teacher angrily rushed over. Heading towards Yan Qingxiu. Yan Qingxiu, where do you want to go? Shouldn't you explain carefully where this filthy beast comes from? The male teacher's words made Ji Sui frown, and she rudely retorted, What do you mean by that? If it weren't for Yan's hard work to stop the filthy beast, when you come, there might only be a pile of corpses left. The male teacher sneered, little girl, you probably don't know. This kid is a mixed race of humans and demons. Who knows if this filthy beast is caused by his demon bloodline. There were rumors that the demon race could control the filthy beasts, but no one has ever confirmed it. And the demon clan disappeared as early as many years ago. After years of the disappearance of the demon clan, the sudden appearance of mixed race between humans and demons, Yan Qingxiu's demon bloodline, has become a mouthful of all malice. Seeing the banquet with a clear and numb expression, Ji Sui didn't know what it felt like to criticize the teacher. She said displeased, do you have any evidence? To be reasonable, if Yan Qingxiu can really control the filthy beast, it is necessary for him to appear at the scene and make himself so embarrassed. Ji Sui was already prepared to continue arguing with the male teacher, but to his surprise, the teacher was stunned for a moment and nodded, you make sense. Ji Sui. She suddenly thought of the reward she had just received and was speechless for a moment. When Ji Sui tried to find Yan Qingxiu again after solving the male teacher, he saw that he had already gone far. Thinking about the inexplicable disappearance from the banquet in his previous life, Ji Sui felt uneasy and silently followed suit. I saw Yan Qingxiu leave the Xinqi Academy and walk all the way to the suburbs. His speed is extremely fast, and Ji Sui almost has to jog to keep up. Fortunately, Yan Qingxiu never turned back, so he didn't notice that Ji Sui was following him. I walked straight to the muddy area. Mud Tan District was not originally called Mud Tan District. But because the people living here are all poor, and there are all sorts of people in a mess, they are jokingly referred to as mud pools. Those rolling in here are inevitably covered in mud. Ji Sui comes from a good family background. Although her parents passed away early, she also left some inheritance for her to eat, so this is the first time she has set foot in this area in her two lifetimes. She also found out for the first time that the empty home of the great demon king banquet actually lived here. And now, he seems to have encountered some trouble. 
Five big men surrounded a house made of steel bars and messy boards, while a man in a suit and leather shoes stood at the door, seemingly speaking to the people inside. Yen Qingxu let out a hoarse voice and said, Mom. Then, he rushed forward directly, attempting to break through the encirclement of the group of big men. Ji Sui frowned and looked at the Qi Ling beside these big men, feeling a chill in his heart. These five are actually awakeners. Although the students in the Divine Enlightenment Academy are awakened, in fact, there are not many awakened individuals worldwide. Except for entering the secret service, most of them are concentrated in the homes of the wealthy. And these awakened beings in front of me all have C. level, and the spirit of Qi Ling is also hyenas, leopards, and so on. However, how can someone who can use a C. level awakener as a bodyguard appear in a muddy area? Or, was it because of them that the previous life banquet was empty and disappeared? Even more strangely, even under the siege of a group of Qi spirits, Yan Qingxu still did not summon her Qi spirits and planned to break through with her physical body. Watching Yan Qingxu's attempt to break through failed and be directly restrained, Ji Sui did not rush to take action. With her current strength, it's still a bit difficult to resist five C. levels. She didn't even dare to get too close because she was worried about being discovered by the hyena spirit. Just as Ji Sui's attention was focused on Yan Qingxu, the light of the golden book on her chest seemed to be slightly brighter than before. In the flicker, Ji Sui's breath was gradually obscured. After Yan Qingxu was subdued, a simple dressed woman ran out of the dilapidated room with a panicked expression and said, Ah Yan. Banquet merchant, let go of him. The woman seems to be in poor health, with a sickly pale face. But this softness made her already beautiful face appear even more charming. Ji Sui finally knew who Yan Qingxu's face inherited. Mom, I'm fine. You go in first. Yan Qingxu's forehead burst with veins, but he still managed to lift his head to comfort the woman. However, the banquet merchant caught the woman who was trying to run towards Yan Qingxu and said coldly, Yan Shuang, in front of me, it's best to put an end to this mother's kindness and filial piety trick. After speaking, he gave a wink. The big man who was cutting back Yan Qingxu's hands exerted all his strength, as if trying to make Yan Qingxu scream out loud. But the banquet was empty and unexpectedly tough, gritting his teeth and sweat rolling down his forehead, but he didn't let out a mournful cry. The banquet merchant snorted coldly, no longer caring about the purity of the banquet. He only grabbed Yan Shuang's tearful face and said, I'm also doing it for you. I don't know what kind of enchanting soup that demon has given you. He insisted on guarding the bastard he left behind. As long as you come back with me, I promise I won't be difficult for this little bastard anymore. Although Ji Sui didn't know why Yan Shang insisted on Yan Shuang leaving with him, looking at the expressions of his mother and son, he knew it wasn't a good thing. She kept staring at Yan Qingxu with some concern, only to find that his eyes seemed to be slowly turning black again. We can't wait any longer, even if there's not much chance of winning, it's better than watching Yan Qingxu demonize. Ji Sui can almost be certain that the disappearance of Yan Qingxu in his previous life was caused by this person. Just as Ji Sui was about to take action, the voice, although delayed, arrived. The Demon King's mother is the last line of defense to prevent him from being demonized. Please stop the Demon King's mother's sacrifice. You can choose. A. Rush up and hold Banquet Frost to call Mom. B. Rush up and hold Banquet Merchant to call Dad. C. Rush up and hold Banquet Qingxu, saying. Those who dare to touch me are ready to pay the price. Hmm countdown to five seconds. Ji Sui, who was ready to take off, stumbled and almost fell to eat dog poop. She looked startled by the sound and turned to her own faces, squeezing out a smile that was even uglier than crying. CCC, C actually means CA0, right? These options that require a three degree increase in blood lipids at a glance have made Ji Sui's scalp tingle. She had a cold face and, adhering to the principle that as long as I wasn't embarrassed, what was awkward was someone else's purpose, 
summoned Baize directly. Taking advantage of Baize's pounce on the man who was restraining Yan Qingxu, Ji Sui rushed forward, half covering Yan Qingxu's shoulder, pretending to be holding him, and then gritted his teeth and said his lines. Those who dare to touch me are ready to pay the price. Hmm. It took Ji Sui two lifetimes of effort to hmm the last word. Yan Qingxu's eyes, which had originally turned into ink, had their pupils trembling and returned to their previous light gray color. The silence on sight was deafening. Yen Xuan even forgot to shed tears. She opened her mouth and looked back and forth at Yen Qingxu and Ji Sui, who had no expression on their faces. Ah Yen, when will you? End of this chapter. Chapter 3, Aren't You Gouging Out My Heart? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3, Aren't You Gouging Out My Heart But The Banquet Merchant Had Already Regained His Senses And Sneered, Okay, Okay, You Demon Beasts Are Really Good At Seducing Women. After speaking, he waved his hand and the big men controlled the Qi spirit to once again surround Ji Sueha and Yan Qingxu. Ji Sui was originally a C. level student. Before his rebirth, he reluctantly advanced to level B by constantly killing filthy beasts, which is most intuitively reflected in Baize's physique and combat effectiveness. But looking at Baize, who suddenly had a larger figure and was still struggling with five C. level spirits without falling behind, Ji Sui realized that she had reached her pre rebirth strength at some point. Congratulations on successfully completing the task. Force level plus one. Reward. Become your strongest self. Please continue to work hard. Is indeed the strongest version of oneself. The combat power of C. Level and B. Level may appear to be only one level apart, but it is not a problem for B. Level players to play more than 10 C. Level games normally. If I remember correctly, Yan Qingxu should have received a B. Level evaluation when he was in the college. Although there was indeed a cost in defeating filthy beasts before, they were not easily suppressed by C.Level Awakeners. The most important thing is that even at this point, he still hasn't summoned his spirit. Is it, what's wrong with his spirit? With doubts in mind, Ji Sui ran away from a group of banquet merchants and was gratefully invited into the room by Yen Xuan. Although it looks shabby outside, the house is very clean and cozy inside. Yen Shuang felt embarrassed and repeatedly cleaned the only teacup without any gaps, then poured a glass of water for Ji Sui and said, Miss Ji, I really trouble you this time. Ji Sui smiled and shook her head. After saying so much, she was indeed a bit thirsty. She took the water glass and drank it all in one breath. Then he looked at Yan Qingxu's pale face and asked directly, Where is your spirit? Why don't you summon when fighting? In the previous life, Yan Qingxu became a fallen demon and directly evolved into the first 3S level powerhouse in history. His spirit is a magical dragon that covers the sky and the sun. With just one collision, the chaotic barrier is destroyed. Qi Sui was very curious about what Yan Qingxu's current Qi Ling looked like. Yan Qingxu seemed to have never expected that this was what Qi Sui was most concerned about. He remained silent for a moment, then smiled nonchalantly and said, My bloodline is quite special, and I summon many Qi spirits. Which can easily trigger demonization. Once the line that prevents demonization is crossed, it is difficult to return to the past. Yan Shuang beside her blushed again when she heard Yan Qingxu's words. Ji Sui didn't expect it to be because of this. She was stunned and didn't know what came to her mind. The banquet was empty, but with a calm expression, he directly put away Ji Sui's cup and began to chase away guests. All right, I have a chance to thank you again for today's matter. You should go now. Although Yen Shuang was a bit reluctant, she also knew that this was not the place where Ji Sui should stay. Miss Ji, thank you so much today. But it's getting dark soon, so it's not safe for you to stay here. Let Ah Yen take you back. Ji Sui nodded and didn't speak anymore. Anyway, today's demonization crisis has been resolved, so just go back. She just stood up, 
but unexpectedly got scalded by something. Hiss. Hurriedly pulling out the hot thing, when did she have such a delicate book pendant on her neck? The faint light of the pendant kept flickering, and the temperature became even hotter. Ji Sui wanted to untie it, but couldn't find any interface at all. At the same time, Ji Sui suddenly sensed that someone had locked the room. You're a banquet merchant again. But this time, he even brought two B.Level Awakeners over. No, what kind of cabbage is a B.Level Awakener? Just pull it up if you say so. Yan Qingxiu glanced out of the window with a cold face, frowned, pulled up Ji Sui, and walked towards the innermost room, saying, This has nothing to do with you. You hide here and wait until they leave before coming out. Ji Sui ignored the pendant and broke free from Yan Qingxiu, saying, Based on the perception of a B.Level Awakener, it's useless for me to hide here. Besides, I just slapped the banquet merchant in the face. Do you think he will let me go? I'm just curious about what this person wants to do. Yen Xuan looked at the two people who were still pulling with red eyes, grabbing their hands and whispered, Yen, they always want me. I'll follow them later, you take Miss Ji and leave. Yen Qingxiu refused without hesitation, are you going to let me see you follow them and become a fertility machine? Ji Sui was stunned by Yan's empty words. What is a fertility machine? Yan Qingxiu, is his mother, Yan Shuang, I have already given you a chance. The voice of the banquet merchant came from outside. Since you are toasting and not eating, don't blame me for not remembering old relationships. Ji Sui looked through the window and saw at least twenty people guarding outside, half of whom were C.Level Awakeners. Auntie, even if you go with him, the banquet merchant cannot let go of Yan Qingxiu. He won't leave such a big hidden danger, she said to Yan Shuang sternly, cursing the banquet merchant for not speaking of martial ethics Yan Shuang's tears finally fell. Yan Qingxiu didn't expect things to develop like this. He looked at Ji Sui with a complex expression and said, You. Shocking. The biggest turning point of transforming into the Demon King. In order to avoid his mother becoming a fertility machine, the Demon King decided to take the risk of being demonized and no longer suppress his own strength. If not stopped, he will never return on the path of demonization. You can choose. A. Begging the banquet merchant to let you go. Perhaps it's useless, B. Begging the banquet Qingxiu not to be demonized for your sake. Absolutely useless, C. Grasping the hand of Yan Qingxiu, with red eyes, he said, Little thing, what is our relationship? Aren't you saying this, cutting out my heart? Ji Sui. I seem to have gotten used to using oil and oil. After this series of multiple dot choice questions, Ji Sui also roughly guessed how the previous life banquet Qingxiu gradually went towards demonization. During the process of solving the filthy beast alone, Yan Qingxiu may have been forced to summon the spirit of Qi. Later, under the influence of Qi Ling, he, who was already on the brink of demonization, met the banquet merchant again. Perhaps forced into helplessness, or perhaps Yan Qingyu chose some extreme method, in short, Yan Qingxiu completely released her spirit. Although he gained stronger power through gradual demonization, he never recovered. Ji Sui took a deep breath, rubbed his eyes red fiercely, and then took Yan Qingxiu's guilty hand seriously, saying, Little thing, what's our relationship? You're saying this, aren't you gouging out my heart? Yan Qingxiu. What is our relationship? Yan Shuang. What is your relationship? But after Ji Sui finished speaking, he rushed out of the door without looking back. Bai Zhe appeared out of nowhere, carrying Ji Sui straight to the banquet merchant. No one could see her movements clearly, only knowing that before everyone could react, the banquet merchant, who was still clamoring, had already fallen into the hands of Ji Sui. Congratulations on successfully completing the task. Reward First catch the king buff, single use, for catching thieves. Please continue to work hard. Ji Sui You may not believe it when you say it, and I don't know what our relationship is. End of this chapter
Chapter 4 A Death Challenge Worth 200 Million You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 A Death Challenge Worth 200 Million The Banquet Merchant was already scared to death. He didn't expect Ji Sui to be so twisted that he could instantly break through 2B. Level Awakeners to hold him hostage. He felt the burning pain from the skin around his neck and tried to stabilize his voice, saying, Miss, this matter has nothing to do with you. You let go of me, and I'll ask them to let you go. Ji Sui smiled and ignored him, saying to the 2B. Level Awakeners, Tell your spirit to stay away. I'm afraid, they're too close and I'll shake my hands. Baize also leaned forward and sniffed the neck of the banquet merchant, seemingly uninterested. With a low growl, his huge body was firmly guarding Ji's side. The banquet merchant swallowed his saliva and waved his hand to ask the two people to take a few steps back before attempting to negotiate with Ji Sui, saying, This is my family business at the banquet, you. The remaining words were pressed against the dagger and could no longer be spoken. Watching Yen Qingxu slowly walk up to Yen Shuang, Ji Sui said calmly, To be reasonable, we are in a rule of law society now. It's not right for you to forcibly rob women like this. I can call the police, you know. The banquet merchant fell silent for a moment, then reluctantly admitted, You make sense. Yen Qingxu. Yen Shuang looked at the banquet merchant with a bewildered expression, as if wondering when he had become so articulate. Ji Sui continued, to be reasonable, should you immediately remove these people and not disturb them in the future. The banquet merchant struggled for a moment this time and hesitated to retort, you're right. No, not right. As a member of the Yen family, Yen Shuang has enjoyed the resources of the Yen family for so many years. Now that the Yen family is in trouble, shouldn't she repay it? Ji Sui frowned, it seemed that the idea that this buff could change was also limited. She immediately remedied, to be reasonable, it's just a resource. There's no need to stir up trouble like this. In this way, it can be directly converted into money to compensate you, and in the future, we won't disturb each other if we sever our ties, can we? Yen Shang glanced at Ji Sui with a hint of confusion and sneered, you make sense. I won't make things difficult for you either. Yen is innocent, and ten days later, there was a death challenge in Xianyue that he couldn't find an opponent. The opponent is a dot level, with the odds of 1.1000. You can come and fight. If you win 200 million, the money belongs to me, and the Yen family has nothing to do with you anymore. Do you dare? Are you saying the odds are lower? Not to mention that Banquet Qingxu cannot summon Qi Ling, it is equivalent to cutting off one's own arm. Even if a normal B. level goes to play A. level, there is almost no chance of winning, just look at this outrageous odds. Ji Sui was almost amused and said, Are you okay? Let Yan Qingxu use her life to earn you 200 million. If he dies, no one can stop you from taking your aunt. If you know how to do business like this, you'll have to scrape off two tails of gold powder to worship your ancestor's spiritual throne once. You. The banquet merchant was constrained by others and dared not speak out. He could only say to Yen Qingxu, if you dare not, obediently let Yen Shuang follow me. Otherwise. She knows the power of the Yen family better than anyone else. Ji Sui wanted to reason again, but the banquet beside him, Qingxu, responded without hesitation, okay. Sign the contract. I disagree. Yan Xuan grabbed Yan Qingxu's hand and shook her head wildly at him. Yan Xuan herself is also an awakener. Although the direction of awakening is different, she knows how ruthless Yan Shang's proposal is. The level division of awakened individuals, below level A, relies entirely on their spiritual strength. A level or above, in addition to powerful spirit, depends more on the degree to which the awakened person integrates spirit. The higher the spiritual power, the higher the degree of fit. Most awakened individuals, due to the limitations of the spirit itself, can only achieve a C. level in their lifetime. 
being able to reach level B is already enough to make many people look up to. The level provided by aristocratic families and serving in the National Exclusive Special Service is also basically at this level. And they dot level awakeners are even more unattainable to ordinary people, and the true tip of the pyramid may not add up to a hundred in the entire world. If B. Level Awakeners are still afraid of hot weapons such as guns and cannons, then A. Level Awakeners, due to their high compatibility with the spirit, can no longer fear most hot weapons. As for the S. Level Up, it is a legend. At present, only one person in the world has reached this level and is currently serving as the director of the National Special Service, responsible for overseeing the regular clearance of obscene beasts in the void battlefield. Therefore, the gap between A.Level and B.Level has crossed at least 10,000 gaps between B.Level and C.Level. This move of feasting with a sense of emptiness is purely for free. But Yen Qingxu disregarded obstacles and signed a contract with the banquet merchant, as well as the life and death situation of the fierce battle, as if occupying some stool. Ten days later, if Yen Qingxu wins 200 million light plants for the Yen family, then the mother and son have no further relationship with the Yen family, and the Yen family is not allowed to seek trouble from Ji Sui. After signing, Yen Qingxu drew fifty light plants from her bracelet and gave them to the banquet merchant, saying, By me and I'll win. Your family has a lot of business, so don't be greedy for me, right? The banquet merchant was almost infuriated by these fifty. But anyway, the contract has already been signed, and he can always get one for money and people. If Yen Qingxu really dies on stage, there is still no way to stop him from taking Yen Shuang away. He nodded with a smile on his face and said, Ten days from now, at eight o'clock in the evening, I will bring my money to Xianyue and naturally someone will entertain you. Ji Sui watched helplessly as the banquet, with its pure and heroic spirit, swept away fifty light plants, and then glanced at his already zero balance, hesitating to speak. You can't summon Qi Ling and take your life to fight a dot level, can you? Qi Sui couldn't help but say as the banquet merchant walked away with the person. In order to prevent Yan Qingxu from becoming demonized, her blood lipids increased by two points. How could they have been surrounded by a deadly challenge even though they had already avoided this node? Yen Shuang on the side knew that her son had taken such a big risk for herself, and was so sad that she could hardly stand firm. Yen Qingxu himself seemed to have put down some big burden. As he comforted Yen Shuang, he said with a relaxed expression, I don't usually summon Qi Ling just to reduce the risk of demonization, and it doesn't mean I can't summon it. I'll only know the specifics after I do it. Anyway, thank you today. I'll treat you to eat. Drink water another day. Ji Sui. Good, good. It's better to save money than to make money, right? However, looking at the current youthful atmosphere of Yan Qingxu, she couldn't even remember what that great demon king looked like in her previous life. The butterfly, who only hopes to change its fate, can strive to wave its wings a few more times. As if responding to Ji Sui's thoughts, the temperature of the golden pendant dropped, but the light became brighter than before. Ji Sui returned home and tossed in front of the mirror for a while, but still couldn't find a way to untie the pendant. She had a guess in her heart that her rebirth, as well as the inexplicable voice from before, might be related to this golden booklet. When that voice appears again next time, ask and keep an eye on it. With such thoughts in mind, Ji Sui fell asleep. There are no accidents in the dream, it's still the nightmare-like scenes from the previous life. Giant filthy beasts constantly crawled out of the void battlefield, as if endless. Amidst the howls of sorrow, Yan Qingxu floated in mid-air with a black aura, shedding two lines of blood and tears in the direction of Ji Sui. End of this chapter Chapter 5, Let Me Answer, Do You Also Deserve It? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 let me answer, do you also deserve it? Strangely, Ji Sui also dreamed of the scene before his death. The originally vague memory became incredibly clear in the dream. Through the filthy beast, she saw a person wearing a mask, 
seeming to be saying something. As long as she dies, then. What is it? The foul-smelling mouth of the filthy beast fell, and Ji Sui suddenly woke up. She rubbed her forehead, thinking of the masked person in her dream. His eyes, for some reason, looked somewhat familiar. Is her death in her previous life really just an accident? Ji Sui scratched his hair with some annoyance. To start over again, not only do we need to save the fallen demon king, but we also need to figure out who wanted her to die in the first place. The appearance of the filthy beast in the safe zone was indeed an artificial accident. But was she just a little girl in her previous life? Who would want her life? Hanging two huge black circles under his eyes, Ji Sui returned to the long-lost Divine Enlightenment Academy. She walked to the entrance of her class in a daze, thought for a moment, and then walked around to Yen Qingxu's class. Watching Yen sit quietly in his seat and look at her, Ji Sui smiled and greeted her before returning to the classroom with peace of mind. She suddenly understood something. Since everyone had chosen Si Yet to make a sound, it meant that this matter would not affect the demonization of Yen Qingxu. Right. Yesterday's end-of-month assessment was cancelled due to the obscene beast, but Ji Sui was exempted from the make.up exam due to his meritorious service in killing the obscene beast. Not only did I directly give her an A in her grades, but I also rewarded her with a 3.star spirit quenching pearl taken from a 3.meter level filthy beast. Quenching spirit beads are indeed a good thing. They can detoxify and clear the heart, with a 5.star rating or above. It is said that they can also help Qi Ling improve her strength. High level spirit quenching beads are not advisable, mainly because they cannot be defeated. Ji Suishin listened absentmindedly to the teacher talk about his already familiar spiritual attributes and improvement methods, but his mind kept thinking about the deadly challenge of Yan Qingxu. If his current spirit is a magic dragon, according to the potential of the spirit itself, there may really be a chance of winning. But Ji Sui had a faint concern in her heart. Her intuition told her that if Yan Qingxu really went to fight recklessly, things would become uncontrollable. Moreover, she also had some speculations to confirm. The upper limit of Qi Ling's strength depends on their own attributes. Some Qi Ling, especially the ancient divine beast lineage, have great growth potential and can even help awaken beings upgrade. Qi Sui Qi Sui Qi Sui was pushed by his desk mate and stood up reflexively, ah. The teacher sneered, are you distracted during class? Killing a filthy beast makes you proud. Then you can tell everyone about the characteristics of the demon spirit that you have learned before. Ji Sui regained his senses and looked at the familiar teacher in front of him. Isn't it the person who inexplicably cooked the pot for Yan Qingxu before? It seems that the surname is. Go. This person's malice towards the half-demon bloodline of Yan Qingxu is not concealed. Teacher Go. The teacher in front of me is full of malice towards the demon king, and his questions are also highly biased. To fight back against him, you can choose. A. Kneel down and cry while tearing at your own hair, saying, I don't know, I'm just a waste. B. Call him Zhang Wei. C. Point his finger at him and arrogantly say, Let me answer, you deserve it too. Count down to five seconds. G. Sway. How about you demonstrate to me what loneliness is? As the countdown came to an end, Ji Sui reluctantly pointed his finger at Teacher Go, looked up, and said arrogantly, Let me answer, do you also deserve it? Teacher Go was momentarily stunned. He opened his mouth and after a while, he angrily said, You're right. What's there? My surname is Sun. Classmates. Is this the key point Ji Sui? What, the reasonable buff is still struggling to survive. I can't teach a student like you who looks down on others. Get out of here. Teacher Sun was so angry that he spat uncontrollably. If it weren't for his Qi Ling not being suitable for a fight, he would definitely give Ji Sui a hard lesson. But Ji Sui could no longer ignore Teacher Go's anger. 
Congratulations on successfully completing the task. Reward. 1 5 Star Spirit Quenching Pearl. Remarks. It can effectively prevent demonization and can be used to explore on your own. Please continue to work hard. Good guy, 5 stars. But what does this usage mean? Is the use of the 5 star quenching spirit ball different from the previous one? The most commonly seen ones by G before were the 2 or 3 star spirit quenching beads, most of which were used to detoxify unclean beasts and were swallowed directly. Quenching spirit beads with four or more stars need to be submitted uniformly, and can only be effectively used by awakened practitioners in the treatment system. The four-dot-meter level filthy beast can already create illusions through poison mist. Although it is not very useful for awakened individuals above level C, there are still ordinary people below level C. If not dealt with in a timely manner, their spiritual power will be consumed by the filthy beast in endless illusions. This kind of mental injury can only be cured with spirit quenching beads. As for the five star quenching spirit pearl, she had never seen it before her death, so she didn't know how to use it to prevent demonization. But if you need a healing system like a four dot star, you still need to prepare in advance. Ji Sui hid the extra things in his hands, and then apologized very perfunctorily. Mr. Go, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry for making such a big mistake, and I have no face to face you. So I applied for a transfer, and I went to the next class. After speaking, regardless of the teacher's expression, he threw the entire set of tables and chairs into the dimensional bag and directly slipped away to the empty class of the banquet. The first class where Yan Qingxu is located and the second class where Ji Sui is located belong to the same combat system, and there is inevitably competition between them. Their class teacher had long been envious of Ji Sui, a C.level student, and unexpectedly, Ji Sui took the initiative to bring him to their door. The short and chubby teacher Gao didn't pay any attention to Ji Sui interrupting his lecture and said with a smile, Ji, welcome. Otherwise, I'll sit next to the banquet classmate. As soon as teacher Gao finished speaking, there was a commotion coming from below. Ji Sui only thought that she, like the teacher Go, had a prejudice against Yan Qingxu's bloodline, so she didn't pay much attention. Nodding, he walked straight towards Yan Qingxu, who had lifted his head in confusion from the table. What she didn't know was that the group chat content of the following classmates was as follows. Surprisingly, they came straight after me. There are still people who haven't watched the video of Ji Sui using a single move to instantly kill the filthy beast, speaking coldly, and protecting Yan Qingxu. I really feel sad, okay. Seeking video. XXXX.AV I have read it. Woo 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 woo, she loves it so much. Let me tell you, Yan Qingxu needs to have good looks, come from a good background, and have a good personality. Otherwise, you should take a look at me, sister. Ji Sui, as the center of the topic, was completely unaware and only used the cover of the desk to show Yan Qingxu the newly obtained spirit quenching beads. Have you ever seen a five dot star one? Do you know how to use it? Ji Sui didn't want to be heard, and his voice was suppressed very low. While admiring the quenched spirit beads in his hand, he unconsciously approached Yan Qingxu. She discovered for the first time that the quenching spirit ball was not white, but had milky white smoke flowing inside. Among these smoke, five golden stars are faintly visible and quite beautiful. Because there was no response for half a day, Ji Sui instinctively looked up and touched a warm object at the corner of his lips. This article is also known as the Human Oil Cultivation Handbook. End of this chapter. Chapter 6. It's better to draw a big pancake in a solo battle. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6. It's better to draw a big pancake in a solo battle. Yan Qingxu's ears turned red to the naked eye, and Ji Sui suddenly sat up straight in fear. She just seemed to kiss Yan Qingxu's ear. Ji Sui, what are you doing? This is the great demon king who may destroy the world in the future. Make such an ambiguous scene, 
you don't want to die. Ji Sui screamed wildly in his mind, as the CPU was almost running dry and he didn't think of any good way to alleviate the current awkward situation. And Yan Qingxiu's whole body had already froze. The movement of Ji Sui turning his face seemed to him like slowing down. This is clearly a predictable outcome. He had the opportunity to push away, but his body seemed to be immobilized and unable to move. He suddenly remembered yesterday when Ji Sui inexplicably kissed him. The tactile sensation, which had been deliberately forgotten, is now crazily sweeping through. The only thought in both people's minds now is. Say something quickly. Cough, that, huh, ears are still harder than lips. Ji Sui chuckled. Yen Qingxu. What the hell am I talking about? Ji Sui immediately remedied, no, what I mean is that I've kissed everyone, and it's good to have a hard mouth. Why should my ears be so soft? Ji Sui. Forget it, this is forcing the world. If it's destroyed, it's destroyed. It can't save a little. The two were immersed in an awkward atmosphere, without paying any attention to the gasping sound coming from around them. Finally, after class, the classmates around her were unexpectedly enthusiastic and gathered around Ji Sui to ask her how she quickly, accurately, and fiercely defeated the filthy beast yesterday. Ji Sui shared some intelligence about filthy beasts and some combat skills with a good temper. The fact that the quenching spirit pearl is under the tongue of the filthy beast is not a secret, whether it can be chopped off is another matter. Ji Suining is so skilled because in his previous life, the reproduction of filthy beasts suddenly accelerated. The poisonous mist they carried accelerated the erosion of the chaotic barrier, to the point where occasionally a few fish escaped the net. Later, Yan Qingxu completely destroyed the barrier and the world fell. The filthy beasts that have obtained endless fresh flesh and blood have once again accelerated their reproduction, and the human life circle has been constantly compressed. Eliminating the filthy beasts has become the daily life of most awakened beings. But for current students, the filthy beast is just a piece of data in the simulator. Therefore, when it comes to fighting against real filthy beasts, they still hold some unrealistic hero fantasies. Ji Sui only hopes that their fantasies will not be shattered in this lifetime. Among the awakened, there are not too many suitable spirit warriors, and the combined number of these two battle classes in first grade is only over twenty. Among these twenty people, excluding Ji Sui, there are only two B.level awakeners, Yan Qingxu and Fu Heng from class two. Therefore, among the group of D.level awakeners, Ji Sui and Yan Qingxu have already stood out among the crowd. And the few people they saved before were all from the same class, and coupled with the fact that Yan Qingxu did not show any magic in his daily life, they did not reject Yan Qingxu as much as Teacher Go did. Except for, shit, it's just luck. A two-dot-meter filthy beast itself isn't too strong, and it's worth boasting about like this. Everyone was a bit angry when they heard this, but when they turned their heads, they found that it was Lu Chuan speaking. They fell silent again and looked at each other. As a member of the Lu family, even if it's just a sideline, it's not something ordinary people can afford to offend. Even though his awakening level is only D, who makes him the Lu family. The existing combat simulation system in Xinqi Academy was invested and developed by the Lu Chuan family. However, everyone in the group knows that Lu Chuan has always been dissatisfied with the tranquility of banquets and seems to dislike his demon bloodline extremely. In addition, Yan Qingxu, a B.level awakened person, is constantly overwhelming him. He looked down upon it and couldn't fight it, which made him even more unhappy. Now, I'm afraid I also hate the house and Wu for Ji Sui. Ji Sui didn't want to engage in such boring arguments, but she remembered this time point and Lu Chuan's family background, and suddenly had a new idea. She looked surprised and said, I don't think so. Some people even break the defense by discussing things like this. Is it because you are naturally not like to be boasted about? Lu Chuan was indeed angry, and he sneered, I have killed more 3.meter filthy beasts in the simulator than the cows you have boasted about. 
Ji Sui tried hard to hold back his laughter and gave a thumbs up to Lu Chuan, saying, I. M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O M O Puff. I don't know who couldn't help but laugh out loud. The main reason was that Ji Sui's expression was too mocking, and unfortunately she had only beheaded a filthy beast. Only she could mock the entire classroom so confidently. Bringing it into Luchuan is like being infuriated. Yan Qingxiu looked a bit helpless on the side, and he naturally saw that Ji Sui was intentional, and he probably guessed what Ji Sui was up to. He just doesn't understand why sometimes strange behaviors suddenly appear, even though this person's usual behavior logic is quite normal. On the other side, Lu Chuan's face turned completely gloomy. In his view, his strength was completely dragged down by the spirit of Qi. Qi Sueha and Yan Qingxiu were just lucky and had a stronger Qi Ling. If he could also awaken the powerful spirit of the covenant, how could his rating be only D? Single-handedly. Dare you. Lu Chuan stared fixedly at Ji Sui, with a cruel curve on his lips. If you don't summon Qi Ling, fight alone. Dare you. Lu Chuan is tall and over 185 pounds tall, weighing over 200 pounds. Although Ji Sui also has a size of 175, compared to the bear like Lu Chuan, he appears petite. Therefore, the request made by Lu Chuan made everyone present feel a bit resentful. But it's possible, Ji Sui hesitated for a moment before adding, but we need to go to the training room to play. Lu Chuan showed a disdainful expression. Just as he was about to make a sarcastic remark, he heard Ji Sui say extremely seriously, if I beat you up, wouldn't it not ruin our friendship as classmates? Lu Chuan. Before he could react, Yan Qingxiu, who was standing behind Ji, suddenly said with a straight and puzzled expression, why don't you come to me to fight? Do you know you can't fight me? Looking at the real and unpretentious doubts on Yan Qingxiu's face, the onlookers exclaimed to be experts. You too have a hand in archery. In the quiet singing in harmony of Ji Sueha's banquet, Lu Chuan gradually lost his original intention. Okay, great. Let's go to the training room. If we don't turn on pain blocking, whoever shouts stop first will be the grandson. He yelled at the two with red eyes. Ji Sui shook his head and said, what's the point of just fighting like this? If you win, Yan Qingxiu will compensate you 100 million. If you lose, you will compensate me with your latest combat simulator. Dare you. Everyone was stunned by Ji Sui's bold handwriting. Only the banquet was empty, and the sincerity on his face almost cracked open. He glanced at Ji Sui and said, I don't have money. Ji Sui gave him a glance and said, I won't lose. It's just a pie painting, it's as big as it is. Yan Qingxiu. You don't fight go and practice dancing in the room, end of this chapter. Chapter 7. If you can't persuade, you can only conquer. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7. If you can't persuade, you can only conquer. Upon hearing Ji Sui's loud tone, Lu Chuan was smirked and said, Just like you poor people, can you come up with 100 million? Who are you trying to scare? Do you want to leave this place empty handed and trap a white wolf? Ji Sui's face was full of disagreement, how did you say that? Do you still have some basic trust between classmates? Yan Qingxiu, at first glance, is the kind of person who speaks and acts immediately. No matter how bad it is, there are so many classmates who testify. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid I won't be able to take out the emulator if I lose, right? I'm afraid of losing. Just bet. If you can't get a hundred million, you two kneel down and call me grandpa. In the future, you'll sell yourself to our family as cattle and horses. A hint of calculation flashed in Lu Chuan's eyes. Ji Sui was somewhat surprised that Lu Chuan actually had a brain, although not much. He dares to think of earning two B. Level Awakeners in a fight. But does Ji Sui care? 
who hasn't experienced hand-to-hand -hand combat with filthy beasts since their past lives. Even a 2.meter level filthy beast on land cannot reach its strength. In a few words, the gambling agreement was finalized, and the group went directly to the training room. Wearing a helmet and logging in, Lu Chuan pulled up the room. He set the room in the shape of a circular arena and shouted arrogantly, don't think I'll be lenient if it's a woman. If you're afraid, you can also ask Yan Qingxiu, that little white face, to come first. Ji Sui jumped directly from the high audience stage and moved his muscles and bones upon hearing this, he smiled and said, what's the point? Ai An only got injured yesterday when he attacked a filthy beast, and now he's very weak. Just jumped off the audience stage over three meters high, the weak banquet felt empty. Lu Chuan gave a fierce smile and rushed towards Ji Sui, saying, at first. Ah ah. Lu Chuan originally intended to use his physical advantage to take the lead, but before he could finish speaking, he was stunned. Where could he still see Ji Sui's figure? The next second, a sharp pain came from his chin and he involuntarily flew out. He even suspected that he heard the sound of bone fractures. Everyone was in an uproar. Perhaps some people think that Ji Sui can win, but no one has ever thought that Ji Sui can really defeat Lu Chuan in one blow without relying on the spirit of the contract. Did you just see Ji Sui's movements clearly? Are you sure Ji Sui is just a C. level awakening? This is too fast, isn't it? Not only fast, but also explosive. I suspect she can cut off the tongue of a 2.meter filthy beast with just one strike without relying on the spirit of the covenant. Lu Chuan lay on his back, his mind still buzzing with melon seeds, feeling as if he had just seen him too young for a moment. Are you still fighting? Ji Sui smiled and pulled up Lu Chuan, with a friendly attitude as if he had seen the living god of wealth. He is not the god of wealth. The simulation combat system currently developed by the Lu Chuan family, paired with a brand new smart wristband, has been coveted by Ji Sui since his previous life. Unfortunately, this thing is expensive and basically monopolized by the upper class, so it cannot even reach their hands. Especially, later it was discovered that this combat system actually has certain benefits for exercising mental power. For a while, this bracelet was even more valuable than marketable. Rebirth, who doesn't take advantage of this opportunity is a bastard. Lu Chuan finally regained his senses and watched as Ji Sui pulled him up, without even a hint of mockery on his face. You. The sparring among classmates is endless. There's no deep hatred, right? Ji Sui said innocently, if you want to learn the move you just did, I can also teach you. Wow, Ji Sui, really fake, teach us. The onlookers from above also cheered along. No one will doubt Ji Sui's strength anymore. Although most of the Awakens combat power comes from the spirit of the Covenant, in the Apocalypse Academy, physical exercise for the Awakened is also highly valued. Therefore, who wouldn't be tempted to see Ji Sui's humanoid weapon? Even a hint of strangeness flashed in Yan's innocent gaze. Lu Chuan opened his mouth, as if to see the hidden mockery of Ji Sui. But not really. She just stood tall and even began to answer some of the combat techniques suggested by her classmates above. Oh by the way, classmate Lu, remember the battle bracelet you promised us. Seeing Lu Chuan in a daze, Ji Sui kindly reminded him, I won't let you suffer any losses either. I know that your bracelet is not producing enough now, and you can't just give it away. So, how about our bet of 100 million light plants to buy two bracelets? You won't be scolded by your family, won't you? The following words, Ji Sui's voice was lowered very low, giving Lu Chuan enough face. Lu Chuan's originally stiff face instantly calmed down. As Ji Sui said, the number of bracelets at home is now strictly controlled. It's really worth sending out too, I'm afraid his father will break his leg. Now Ji Sui gave him a step, and he followed with a complex expression, I won't be defaulting on the bill. The bracelet needs to record your DNA. In half a month, come find me to get the bracelet. 
Ji Sui smiled and immediately patted Lu Chuan's shoulder kindly, saying, I knew I didn't misjudge anyone. They were all good classmates, and in ten days, I will transfer the money to you. Upon hearing the last sentence, Yan Qingxu's face changed and he pulled Ji Sui aside, saying, Where did you get the money? Ji Sui looked at him with a look of anger on his face and said, If you win, then you have it. Since you always want to play that game, why don't we pitch more? It's not in vain. Yan Qingxu said with a numb expression, I don't have any money. I gave the last fifty to the banquet merchant. Ji Sui patted his shoulder and said, What's our relationship? In this case, I can lend you some. After you finish the fight, just give me back the capital and interest together. Combining capital with interest. Yan Qingxu felt almost breathless and said, I took my life to make money, but you still charge me interest. I would like to ask you, what is our relationship? The creditor. Ji Sui asked with uncertainty. Yan Qingxu was so angry that she didn't want to talk to her. This caused a scene, and later it basically turned into a will battle against Ji Sui. Ji Sui is very generous. She doesn't refuse anything and can solve it with just one move, never moving an extra finger. After all, in my past life, I was able to break through to level B by beating dirty beasts. If I were to fight these student cubs seriously, it would be like Ji Sui bullying people. Yan Qingxu watched for a long time and finally confirmed that his previous feelings were correct. These moves of Ji Sui are too refined, with almost no unnecessary movements. This is also due to her almost stingy control in terms of strength. However, such control can never be practiced on a simulation field, just look at how badly Lu Chuan was crushed. So Ji Sui, how did she develop her skills? Except for Yan Qingxu, almost everyone had a round of fights with Ji Sui, and even Lu Chuan tried again without believing in evil. Then, the group of students in class 1 became more and more brave in battle, and they began to compete with each other to see who could hold on for a few more seconds under Ji Sui's command. It is very promising. Amidst the hustle and bustle of the crowd, an account briefly appeared in this room, and after a while, silently exited. Ji Sui. You see, after getting convinced, everyone has become easy to talk about. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Gambling All Wealth. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Gambling All Wealth The following days were quite calm. Ji Sui cherishes his life in the college very much, and besides attending classes every day, he just beats Lu Chuan. This Lu Chuan is also strange, the more he is beaten, the more he likes to stick to Ji Sui. But for the sake of the face of the bracelet, Ji Sui was too lazy to care about these things. It's a quiet feast, and I don't know if it's like stealing chickens every night, always looking like I haven't woken up. Ji Sui once asked him, what are your sleeping plans for running all the way to the academy? Yan Qingxu confidently said, you can't enter the special service without a graduation certificate. Boy, can you get your graduation certificate by sleeping every day. However, Ji Sui did not expect that Yan Qingxu's former dream was to enter the secret service. It's hard not to sigh. These days, she has been searching for information about the quenching spirit beads, but most of it is related to healing and enhancing the spiritual strength of Qi Ling. There are very few things related to the demon clan, let alone how to suppress demonization. And the one who always likes to find a sense of presence, Chu Si, during this period it's like death, no matter how Ji Sui shakes that little golden book, there is no response. The days are within each day, and we have arrived at the day of the death challenge. During this period of banquet clearance, I should eat and drink without any fear. I even really often invite Ji Sui to drink water. Ji Sui was curious about where his money came from, and he looked very secretive, saying it was an industry secret. Confidential, did Ji Sui not see that there were only a few tens of balances in his bracelet? In that case, Ji Sui decided to let nature take its course. 
She believed that if there were really any nodes that could be demonized, the all choose sea would definitely reappear. With such inexplicable confidence, time finally arrived at 7.50 p.m. The two of them appeared at the gate of the hanging moon on time. Last time I came to Mutant District, Ji Sui didn't have much time to observe the surrounding environment carefully. I only realized along the way that the buildings built in this area are vastly different from those in the city center. The highest level is only four or five floors, with exposed steel structures everywhere, and an outdoor garbage dump can also be seen below. However, the light pollution caused by neon lights is no less than that of urban areas. There was no need for a banquet to lead the way, and Ji Sui saw the sign of the hanging moon at a glance. Among the low and dilapidated buildings, Xianyue occupies a whole building with more than ten floors, which is a high profile of the newly rich go home to build buildings. As they walked to the door, which was a bit flashy and magnificent, they were stopped by several people in black. No surprise, these are also C.level awakeners. I guess so, it's unlikely to be able to open such a place in this place where dragons and snakes are mixed, without any reliance. There are even rumors that the hanging moon may be related to the gray industrial chains of several major families. After swiping the wristband and proving their identity, the two of them followed the man in black inside. The dual arena was underground, and Ji Sui watched the elevator go all the way down until it finally stopped on the 28th floor. The elevator door opens, forming a long corridor with a carpet that is worth a lot at first glance. The two put on special masks and walked down the corridor. The further forward, the louder the noise became, mixed with excited roars and remorseful curses. Pushing open the gate at the end, the two of them were stunned. A huge circular arena appeared in front of them. Similar to the kind of arena in the training room before, it was only magnified dozens of times and formed a circle. The audience seat, which could accommodate tens of thousands of people, was filled with people with flushed faces. A group of people who should not have had much intersection in their clothes were shouting loudly for the two sides fighting in the arena. Go ahead. Kill him. Kill him. Yes. That's it. Ha ha ha. Strike hard. Ah. Pretty. Twist his neck. The most primitive collision of flesh and blood, mixed with selfless crowds, swept into a bloody and sweet heat wave, rushing towards the two of them. Even when Ji Sui was fighting a few filthy beasts in his previous life, he did not have such a clear understanding of the word, cruelty. Watching the two fighting like beasts, Ji Sui couldn't understand why, as awakeners, he had to turn himself into such a wild beast in a cage. She was momentarily stunned. The banquet on the side felt as if they were used to this kind of scene, with little expression on their faces. They followed the man in black towards the restroom on the side. Ji Sui immediately understood that this door was the downward force that the hanging moon had given them. By the time they reached the exclusive lounge, the battle in the field had already ended. Or it's more appropriate to call it fighting. Because regardless of whether they win or lose, both sides are carried out, and even Qi Ling's eyes are stained with blood. There are already awakened practitioners of the therapeutic system waiting on one side. Here, blood is just a catalyst for the enthusiasm of the onlookers, and even death is just adding fuel to their cheers. These most ferocious onlookers are mostly ordinary people. Ji Sui's gaze swept towards the higher private room, afraid that the person sitting there was the one who could truly control the wind and rain. How towering it is! And a few minutes later, Yan Qingxu will also be forced to immerse himself in this bloody battlefield. Even, there is no halfway out. At exactly twenty o'clock, in the host's enthusiastic rendering, the A.Level Awakener flew directly onto the high platform. He didn't wear a mask, his eyes arrogantly scanned the upper-class people, in the private room of the high platform, as if he was attracting their attention. Then, he suddenly fell to the ground, and the specially designed arena floor was smashed into a deep pit by him. Ah 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 ah! Forest fire! I have all my wealth to beat you to win! 
kill the other side. Everyone's enthusiasm was instantly ignited by his arrogant appearance. Ji Sui looked at Yan Qingxu's opponent, but furrowed his brow. Did you also feel it? Yan Qingxu stared at Mori Hua's cold eyes and nodded. This person's aura does seem to be A. Dot level, but his mental strength is very unstable, between B. Dot level and A. Dot level. Generally speaking, this situation is mostly due to just breaking through. But even if it is just a breakthrough, it should be the spiritual power that breaks through first, reaching the degree of compatibility with the spirit, and then the breath will tend to stabilize in fluctuations with the breakthrough of the spiritual power. Forest fire is completely the opposite. The strangest thing is that up until now, there has been no response to choosing C. Is it true that this banquet is so empty without any pressure? Even if the opponent's mental strength is unstable, it is still a dot level. Are you confident? Ji Sui asked cautiously. How much money did you put down? Yan Qingxu asked in response. Ji Sui. Everyone has 100,000 under their name, Ji Sui whispered, all their wealth is here. Before you go up and fight, please give me a IOU. Yan Qingxu. If you don't win, you'll die. After coldly dropping a sentence, he walked towards the entrance passage without looking back. Yenzi. This is more pressing than my life. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Spirit, White Dragon. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Spirit, White Dragon. Mori Hu watched as Yan Qingxu walked in calmly and sneered, Little Rabbit, are you weaned? How dare you come and beat me to death? Death is a challenge, regardless of life or death. The fate of the loser is completely in the hands of the winner, there is no surrender. Morihua's favorite is death challenge. He once crushed the bones of his opponent one by one in a deadly battle, leaving only one last breath. This behavior also completely made him famous in the month of suspension. Since then, Morihua seems to have mastered some kind of password, tormenting his opponents in various ways in every deadly battle. Regarding his bet, he also went from whether he can win to a few minutes to win, and finally slid all the way to how the forest fire will torment the opponent this time. His fighting style has always been fierce and fearless, whoever first develops fear will lose. Thanks to this deadly gameplay, the record he set for consecutive victories in Hanging Moon has yet to be broken. At one point, no one dared to appear as his opponent. Until, his record was interrupted by a man who emerged from the sky and wore the Avenger's mask. That person imitated Mori Hua's past behavior and crushed every inch of Mori Hua's bones. That scene also welcomed the craziest audience in the history of the Hanging Moon. Some people become wealthy overnight, while others go bankrupt. There is only one thing that no one doubts. Everyone thinks the forest fire has been destroyed. Therefore, when Hanging Moon launched the promotion of forest fire's comeback, everyone was boiling. In the hearts of these gamblers, Morihua remains the god in their hearts. The first one was his most familiar death challenge. Morihua seems to want to announce his resurgence in this way. Unfortunately, no one dares to confront it. Because this time forest fire appeared, it had already broken through to level A. Some people are also puzzled. As an A-dot level awakener, Morihua has already climbed to the top of the pyramid, and why does he have to stay at the hanging moon to compete in this crowded arena? Therefore, after Yan Qingxu faced the challenge, the previously weak Hanghua due to the abandonment of the forest fire once again ushered in an almost insane glory. That's the only A-dot-level awakener in Hengue. It could also be the only chance for an ordinary person to encounter an A-dot-level awakened person in their lifetime. The odds offered by the banquet merchant are still conservative. When the tall and thin Yan Qingxu appeared across from the forest fire, the odds of the outfield skyrocketed several times. Even the newly opened opening is a bet that the banquet's emptiness will be crushed by forest fire in the first few minutes. Yes, no one thinks that Yan Qingxu can win. 
They are eagerly anticipating it all because they want to see how the returning forest fire will use bloody means to tear apart the weak and uncontrollable young man on the opposite side. The weak and uncontrollable banquet ignored everything around it. Even when he heard Morihua's provocative words, he just walked leisurely to the edge of the big pit and looked at it with a serious expression. Then he turned to the host and said, This flooring material is quite expensive, isn't it? It's even broken. Let me take two pieces back later. Ji Sui. The most terrifying thing in the world is indeed the poor. Upon hearing these words, Morihua's face turned completely gloomy. When you die, I can help you bury it under these floors. Okay. Kill him. Kid, hold on for two more minutes. I haven't seen the forest fire arena in a long time, uh huh. Ji Sui unconsciously played with the small golden book around his neck, listening to the discussions of the people around him, and then looked at the forest fire, whose muscles were almost bursting out, feeling strange. The awakening of the therapeutic system is not omnipotent. Having someone break all the bones in one's body is not a bad thing, but the mental trauma is basically incurable. Not to mention things like Morihua, who actually benefited from misfortune and broke through from B. level to A. level. At least this must be the son of Chi Luck, with a level of spirit behind him, right? During his contemplation, the host was already frightened by the increasingly fierce aura of the forest fire and ran away from the arena. And Morihua, without even waiting for the host to completely leave, was already attacking towards Yan Qingxu. His spirit is actually a black bear over two meters tall. Roar The black bear let out a roar, carrying the forest fire at a speed completely mismatched with its bulky body. In an instant, it jumped into mid-air and smashed straight towards Yan Qingxu. Bang! The place where Yan Qingxu stood was directly smashed into dust and dust. However, before the cheers of the audience could be heard, a long shadow emerged from the ruins, carrying the banquet and avoiding all the attacks of the black bear. Is that a dragon? Oh my goodness, the first time I've seen someone's spirit is a dragon. For a moment, everyone's gaze was drawn to the white dragon hovering in mid-air. I saw by long turn around and shake his tail, his tail directly slapping the black bear's face, emitting a heavy buzzing sound, and he pushed the black bear back several steps. The audience was in an uproar. Even Morihua's face changed. Keiji Sueha banquet is pure and empty, but at the same time, he sighs inwardly. It is indeed a B.level match against an A.level match. At the same level, the white dragon strike may directly fan the black bear away. Nowadays, the size of this white dragon is not as big as the black dragon in the previous life, after all, it is only B.level now. Its slender body looks like an underage dragon cub. However, its four claws were black, allowing Ji Sui to see a glimpse of the demon dragon from his previous life. The impact of demonization is indeed more than just a feast of emptiness. The ferocity of the black bear was completely ignited by the white dragon strike, and it roared and bit on. And Yan Qingxu and Morihua also left their respective spiritual agreements and began to fight. White dragon, with its agile body, glides along with the black bear and can also help Yan Qingxu block the attack of the forest fire. It is evident from this position that it is in line with the purity and emptiness of the banquet. But compared to the previous filthy beast, the suppression power of forest fire is incomparable. He is a warrior who follows a physical path and prefers to fight with punches to the flesh. The physical strength of A.Level Awakeners has long surpassed that of ordinary people, and it is not an exaggeration to say that they are humanoid weapons. Yan Qingxu cannot resist forcefully, and can only navigate like the previous wandering beasts, waiting for opportunities to find loopholes. Even so, even a slight mistake, even if it's just a blow from the fist, will leave a shocking scar on Yan Qingxu's body. Soon, his body was covered with blood. Ji Sui had been nervously staring at Yan Qingxu's state, but was she worried about these skin injuries? She was afraid that if she tried to fight, she would become demonized. Fortunately, 
the expression on the banquet's face remained calm without any signs of demonization. Perhaps it was the credit of the five-star quenched spirit bead. Before the arena, Ji Sui had someone insert the quenched spirit bead into a very ordinary pendant and hang it for Yan Qingxiu. At that time, the empty and moved expression on the face of the banquet was mercilessly extinguished by Ji Sui's words, this also needs to be accounted for. But regarding the matter of demonization, Ji Sui still doesn't quite understand the principle and can only continue to watch them fight. Sui Sui Five star quenched spirit beads, moved, right. It needs to be returned. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Unable to cure him, I want you to be buried with me. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 Unable to cure him, I want you to be buried with me. Fortunately, the black bear was probably suppressed by its bloodline. Although it roared fiercely, when it started fighting, it was not as bloody as Ji Suexiang had imagined. Yan Qingxiu relied on the flexibility of his body movements, and every time he used the attack of the white dragon, he also left several scars on the forest fire. The howls at the scene began to be mixed with boos, especially when I saw the forest fire fighting for a long time without truly touching Yan Qingxiu. Some people have already believed that forest fire will win from the beginning, and some are worried that forest fire will not be able to win. What are you waiting for? Kill him. Are you still that forest fire? Where is your bloodline? Kuyan's innocent expression became increasingly relaxed as he fought. Ji Sui couldn't help but guess whether this scene was within his expectations, otherwise he would not hesitate to agree to this hopeless battle. Ancient mythical beasts like dragons, such as Qi Ling, do indeed have a sense of oppression. This has an absolute advantage in the same level of Qi Ling, and it is also the basis for Yan Qingxiu to challenge himself beyond his level. It should be said or not, Ji Sui still has a slight envy for this divine beast and spirit. After all, all the A.Level Awakeners known today, Qi Ling is without exception a divine beast that can be called a name. She named her big cat Qi Ling Bai Zhe, which may not be without such expectations. If Yan Qingxiu does not become a fallen demon, he is highly likely to surpass A. Level or even higher in the future with the growth of the White Dragon. At this point, the fighting on the field has become increasingly intense. As Qi Ling began to collide head. On, Yan Qingxiu surprisingly abandoned his usual flexible kite style gameplay and began to occasionally get tough with the forest fire. This scene is full of primitive power, making as many people's blood boil, so many people fall into an ice cave. Who can tell them, where exactly did this monster-like kid come from? It is rare for a banquet to be so lively and peaceful. The spirit-quenching beads on my chest gradually became a bit hot from the initial coolness. But the noisy voices that troubled him as soon as he summoned the spirit were always suppressed, and he would no longer be distracted. In the repeated collisions with Mori fire, he could feel the invisible barrier between B. Level and A. Level gradually becoming clear and visible. He dares to sign the death challenge not because he is reckless, on the contrary, he is quite willing to sacrifice his life. He just knew who the opponent was in this fierce competition before, he was just verifying his hypothesis. This forest fire definitely lacks the strength of a normal A. Level awakener. He has experienced a dot level pressure, and the mental confinement is impenetrable. He needs to concentrate all his energy to barely cope. But he could clearly sense from the beginning that he couldn't win. Kasenhuo, although his mental strength is indeed a dot level, his control over mental power is too rough. So much so that it gives people a feeling of children playing with machine guns. How did he break through on earth? Mori who never imagined that a B. Level little rabbit could live in his hands for so long. Therefore, his moves became even more explosive. Even due to the loss of control of mental power, the audience in the front row felt the storm full of destructive intent. The staff of the suspended moon who noticed something was wrong urgently activated the mental barrier, but still a few front row spectators were directly pierced through their minds. Ah, ah, ah. 
A few people holding their heads were howling, and the scene was in panic as a stampede was about to occur. In the corner, a person wearing a cloak gently lifted his right hand, and the chaos was instantly suppressed, and the medical team followed suit. But Mori no longer feels these things. His eyes were bloodshot, and his expression looked almost insane. The muscles throughout the body dilated to the extreme, and both speed and strength instantly increased by a few steps. Yen Qingxiu was momentarily unaware and was punched in the abdomen by Morihuo. If it weren't for the white dragon catching him, he might have been able to fly directly outside the arena. He spat out a mouthful of blood, rolled on the spot, and managed to avoid the second attack from the forest fire. Through her blood-stained eyes, Yan Qingxiu stared intently at Morihua, who was in the wrong situation. His breath is still expanding, already crossing the previously swinging barrier and truly entering the A.Level realm. But at this point, Morihua had completely lost his human form. His eyes were wide open with anger, and all the blood vessels in his body were bulging, some even burst open, leaving only blood red in his eyes. This is Yan Qingxiu's pupils suddenly shrank, and the next second, Mori Hua's ferocious smile was right in front of him. He unleashed all his potential in an instant, narrowly avoiding the hand that was tearing at his neck. But the pendant around his neck was torn off by a large piece of flesh and blood connected by the forest fire. Blood gushed out in an instant, almost turning Yan Qingxiu into a bloody person. But what shocked Yan Qingxiu was not the combat power that the forest fire erupted in an instant. But rather the way he erupted, making him feel a hint of demonic aura. Ji Sui, who was watching from the sidelines, was also shocked by the upheaval before him. What is the situation with this forest fire? Why do you still bring a transformation? A dot level awakened individuals can indeed enhance their combat power by immersing themselves in the body of the spirit. But looking at the instantly withered appearance of the Qi Ling in the forest fire, it was as if Qi Ling had sacrificed his strength to the forest fire. In her previous life, she had never seen such a strange situation before. White Dragon has no opponents and has returned to Yan Qingxiu's side. Perhaps it was the injury caused by Yan Qingxiu that made White Dragon feel uneasy. As the quenched spirit ball was knocked down, the black areas on White Dragon's four claws slowly expanded, visible to the naked eye. And the quenching spirit pearl was not far from Ji Sui's body. But due to the previous outbreak of the forest fire, the venue has been covered by a barrier and no one can enter. What should we do? As if sensing Ji Sui's anxious gaze, Yan Qingxiu suddenly turned around and smiled at Ji Sui. The only eye that was not stained with blood has begun to be shrouded in black mist. Ji Sui is furious. At a critical moment, is it dead to Chu Si? As if hearing Ji Sui's call, the long lost voice finally sounded. The Demon King has encountered the biggest crisis so far and he has decided to sacrifice a portion of himself to gain absolute power. Your task is to pull the demon king back from the temptation of power. Now, you can choose. A. Provoke the forest fire and bring the hatred over. He may not be able to see. B. Cry and kneel on the ground, begging the staff to open the arena for you to enter. You may be kicked out. C. After the demon king finishes fighting, be the first to rush up and hold him, shouting angrily, Doctor. If he can't be cured, I want you to be buried with me. Reward. How to use the five-star quenching spirit ball. Gee sway. My head suddenly became empty. Oh, it turns out that my cerebellum has shrunk. In this life, can she really only go on the road of high blood lipids and never return? But this time there was no countdown. At the same time, there was another burst of exclamation in the audience. Ji Sui looked up and saw that Yan Qingxiu had completely melted into the body of the white dragon, which was already shrouded in black mist. But clearly, only A. Level Awakeners can achieve this. Bai Zai. You said you don't recognize goods, so you named me Bai Zai. Saying you are discerning, you envy that long snake. End of this chapter.